Well, we'll dive into Campbell Corner for this Wednesday, the 23rd of May. And joining me is the one and only Angela Salgado. Hi, Angela. Hi. Welcome back to Pioneer Radio. It's been a while. Thank you. I'm super excited to be here. Well, it's been too long. I think so, too. Yeah, yeah. Now, for those who don't know who you are and what you do at Campbell, who are you and what do you do? My name is Angela Salgado, (laughs) and I am the public services librarian. And what does that mean? Um, Well, this is a, I took this position a year ago, just had my year anniversary. And so I get to do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to help with circulation, make sure our patrons are happy, make sure our circulation staff is happy. That's a big job. Yeah, (laughs) it is. And I get to help with marketing and uh, just making sure people know that Campbell Library is there, you know that we're there and we're excited to uh, open new library cards, have new patrons, and Mm -hmm. help our existing patrons when there's something they want. So I get to do a lot of fun stuff. Now, in that year you've been at Campbell, any uh, points of surprise you want to share with us you didn't expect to have happen? (laughs) Or maybe something that uh, was highly unusual in your role? Well, I think one of the more exciting things for me that we did this year was our newsletter. Um, yes. Yes. We, that was a great idea. We've, I've, I really feel like um, it's just been a great tool for patrons because they're getting a little bit of information about new release books. Um, they're getting, you know, the calendar in, in that format, and it goes right to their email. So um, that's that's been one of the more challenging and exciting things that I've gotten to do this year. Technology is wonderful when it works, isn't it? Yeah, it absolutely. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. All right. Now we have topics to talk about today as we do with Charlotte quite often when mm-hmm. she's on the air. Mm-hmm. And uh, Angela, very kind to supply me with those topics. <laughs> we'll head to uh, number one here in our list of things to chat about. And we talked about this with Charlotte on the air as well. The summer reading program is about to kick off. When is that? Starts June 6th, Mm. and it will meet on Wednesday afternoons, uh, 3.30 to 4.30, uh, for eight weeks, eight straight weeks. And that's every Wednesday? Every Wednesday at 3.30. Okay. That's correct. All right. Well, kids can come in any time to get their log signed um, and, you know, work towards prizes. So, because we know they're reading all week, and they might have to come in at night, or they might come in on the weekend. Um, so they can come in any time, but our special programs, we have really exciting special guests coming this year, and they'll be there on Wednesdays from 3.30. Let's expand on the log idea now. What is the log, and how is how is that working as far as tracking what they're doing and what kind of prizes are at the end of the rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, they one of the, I know some of the prizes have to do with Minecraft. So that's, really? Yeah, that's pretty exciting. There's still a lot of big Minecraft fans out there. And so that, that should get some kids reading. And um, So the readers are given a log. Yes. A journal, mm-hmm. more or less. Yeah. And... A, it was called a passport a couple of years ago. I Actually, think. I think we're calling it a passport again this year. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, very good. Yeah. And so they read, and that. Uh, uh, they track their hours. Right. And they bring that in. They get prizes for each of those hours that they read, and then they're entered to win some big prizes at the at the final summer party on the last day of summer reading. Hmm. Okay, that starts again June six. June six. And every Wednesday at what time? Three thirty. And runs for an hour? Yes. Okay. And the registration is required or just show up? They need to register. You can register on our website. There's a link on our um, egflibrary.org. Or they can just stop by the library. And you know what? We're also looking for volunteers. Hey. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Good idea. If you love children and reading and libraries, great place to be. Absolutely. So contact you? Yes. Just All call right. the library. Get, mm-hmm. a, get a hold of Angela? Yeah. All right. That's item one. Item two, take a break Tuesday, which is every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming up, I believe, soon, our very own Charlotte Helgeson will be uh, introducing those who come to yoga. Yes. Really? Yes, I'm so excited that I get to be here this day, today, so that I can talk about Charlotte being our actual guest speaker next Tuesday night at Take a Break Tuesday. Okay. So next Tuesday, 6 p.m., totally free, Charlotte's going to do an intro to yoga class. Hmm. So this will be for all ages, um, dress comfortably, 
Um, this is a very uh, low pressure. Charlotte is just a fabulous yoga instructor. And so I'm just e very excited for everyone to uh, come and see how she she does this and just kind of get a feel for yoga and see what they think of it. Okay. Do you have to bring a mat? No. no. We'll provide the mats. Mats are there. Mm -hmm. There's no charge. No charge. And there's fun. Yeah. What more would you want, right? Exactly. And learning how to uh, perform yoga. Now, for those listening who are maybe not in the best of shape, I might be in that category just a <laughs> little bit. Uh, is there an intimidation factor of, you know, I can't do that? Not at all, especially no. with Charlotte. Um, you know, it'll all ages and abilities welcome. And uh, Charlotte knows lots of uh, modifications and adjustments and can help people, you know, just really sure. get an intro to it. So no pressure. Come all on right. out. Take a break Tuesday. Again, that's next Tuesday with Charlotte Helgeson and her instruction on yoga. Great. And that begins at 6.30? 6 o'clock. 6, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. All right, six bells next Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, our final topic, we've been doing this now for about a month or so, featuring new books at Campbell Library. Yeah. And I count three books on the counter. Right. Well, if I can get to all three, I absolutely will. You just tell me when to stop. All right. <laughs> I'll pull the plug when it's time to go. <laughs> well, I'm excited about this Blue Zones of Happiness. Um, Dan Butner wrote this, and the subtitle is Lessons from the World's Happiest People. Now, I know there's a lot of books on this topic, um, but he did go all over the world, and he interviewed people from a number of different countries to find out um, you know, what, what the marks of true happiness are and how we can achieve more happiness. So he doesn't, what I like about this book is he doesn't just talk about why these people are happier than we are or as happy as we are. Um, but he talks about um, the, the things you can do right now, simple things that we can do right now to increase our happiness. Okay, the book called again? The Blue Zones of Happiness by Dan Butner. All right, book number yeah. one. Book two? The Last Castle. Uh, this is by Denise Kiernan. Were you ever uh, enchanted by the story of the Vanderbilt estate, the, the Biltmore estate, the um, Biltmore house? Yeah, to or, a point. Okay, yeah. 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 I think I think we forget it's there until someone mentions it, and then we, it is an, 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 a, such an interesting topic. Did you know the estate is three times the size of Washington, D.C.? Now, that's a good size house. <laughs> yes, it is. That's a big house. <laughs> Imagine the cleaning bill on that house. <laughs> right, and the electricity wow. bill. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. it, this house, um, this house and uh, the estate, the, the grounds have been through uh, the Depression, the Jazz Age, World Wars. Disco? <laughs> Disco. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good point. And they survived even that. <laughs> they survived Disco. <laughs> All right, again, the second book is called? The Last Castle. It is the epic story of love, loss, and American royalty in the nation's largest home. Mm, and the author? Uh, Denise Kiernan. All right, very good. That's yeah. two. One more Come to go. check it out. Yeah. One all right. More. Well, on a more serious note, The End of Alzheimer's. Uh, the subtitle is The First Program to Prevent and Reverse Cognitive Decline. Mm. Um, again, a topic that's that's pretty widely covered, um, but this this physician uh, ha talks about real life cases where he has um, given his patients a protocol to follow, and he they have seen actual improvement. Great. And some of the steps are very simple. A lot of them have to do with diet and exercise, which I know we've heard before, but um, mm -hmm. sometimes we need some fresh inspiration. Sure. And so this is for like, this is for all ages. This is not just uh, for someone who's, who's, you know, feeling decline. Mm -hmm. um, this is like something we can start now. And um, some of the, some of the steps are really simple. I think that you should read the book to find some of the simplest steps that really um, shocked me. So, okay, yeah. The End of Alzheimer's by? By Dale Bredesen. All right, three new books available now at Campbell Library, three of many, and as Charlotte yes. mentions, they come in quite frequently, daily sometimes. Today we got three large boxes of wow. new books. Unbelievable. So, yeah, super exciting. All right, so stop on by, check that out, and uh, again, we've talked about uh, activities at Campbell, 
and it's a very vibrant entity within East Grand Forks. It serves the greater Grand Forks area. It really does. And uh, to find out more about the Campbell Library, what's your phone number over there? 218-773-9121. And you're right downtown off Demers Avenue. That's correct. And there's a main fire station there, and there's a Dalmatian in the front yard of the fire station mm-hmm. pointing kind of toward the library. So right. So follow that nose. And then if you're interested in the uh, website, what's that uh, website? E- EGFlibrary.org. That's very simple. Yeah. EGFlibrary.org. Mm-hmm. Well, so good to see you again, Angela. You Thanks too. for coming in. It's I a appreciate pleasure. that, yeah. Thank you. And tell Charlotte to send you over more often. Oh, thanks. Okay. Will do. All right. All right. Angela Salgado from the Campbell Library. Campbell Corner here on Pioneer Radio, Wednesdays at 3.05. On Northern Thunder from Pioneer 90.1.